Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete, and this is my motivational video. The topic of today's video is to be great, you need to surround yourself with great. Are you the type of person who's trying to do something great in this world? To leave a mark on this world? Somehow to let people know that you are here? You know, you're not going to just have your name and a number on a tombstone. You're going to be in some history book or something somewhere that lets people know you were here. Well, I'm definitely trying to do that too. Well, let me tell you what I found the best way to do that, to go for great. The best way to get to great is you got to surround yourself with great. That's why when I took up the cold water swimming and the marathon swimming and my attempts that I keep trying to swim the English Channel, I joined the South End Club. I mean, South End, the, the members down to the people, it's like the best camaraderie I've ever seen. I mean, the leadership from the top on down, I can't believe it. I mean, how supportive people are, how great people are, um, how many all these crazy great training swims we have, and, and the participation is so huge, both on the swimmer side and on the volunteer side. It's just amazing. I mean, it is such a great group of people. I mean, I absolutely love every one of them. And, but what really, really, really gets me going is that they seem like they're fearless. They go for great. We have English Channel swimmers. I mean, I'm talking like more than one, like handfuls of English Channel swimmers. We have Catalina Island swimmers. These are all the Ocean sw Seven swimmers. We have swimmer. We have a lot of swimmers who swam like Tao, which is a super difficult swim. Uh, it's at like 6,000 feet, altitude, fresh water, really difficult. People have swam that too. And then, and now recently, why, you know, kind of why I'm making this video, because I'm so inspired. We've taken siege. We've been, we, we're, we're, we're on attack of the Farallon Islands. This is some crazy swim. This island is 28 miles out to sea. It had, it had only been, it's only been swam four times people have made it to shore in the last like 40 to 50 years since it's been tried. And not many people try it. You want to know why? Freezing cold water most of the time way out there at the Farallons. Um, rough, like super rough, like 20 foot high swell rough can pop up out there and has on these guys. And then on top of that, the, what it, what Fairlands is really known for is a lot of seals hang out there, like sunbathing on that island, and they go in and take a little dip. Well, guess who hangs out? The landlord! You know who the landlord is? I learned this from the South End Club. It's the great white shark. It's those great white sharks, big, huge ones. They hang out there, and they eat seal for dinner. <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of great white sharks out there. They come and go. Sometimes there's more than others, you know, depending on the time of the year, but they're always out there. The landlord is always there. Sometimes not as much as other times. But anyway, so I would just want to talk about the last month in our club. The first guy who went out there, he decided, like I said, this has been swim four times in the last like 40 to 50 years. And my friend Simon, man, he was going to be the first person ever to swim from the Golden Gate Bridge out to the Farallons, 28 miles. And he, that's straight, you know. And so, and you get moved around by the current, so it adds up to a lot more than that. But when he was swimming, he got, he was out there 18 hours in that cold, rough water. He's within three miles of the, of, of the, of the island. He's in within three miles, and guess what happens? A great white shark starts circling him. <laughs> it freaked everybody out on the boat. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the pilot, I he had to call it. I mean, there was, you know, I mean, I, if Simon had his choice, I'll bet you Simon would have kept swimming. But anyway, so the boat pilot, he called, you know, he doesn't want to see Simon getting eaten. We all love Simon, so we don't want to see him getting eaten either. So anyway, so he had to call it three miles from shore after he had swam 18 miles and had a big, great whites, what they do, by the way, they circle you, then they go under, and then you don't see them again, and then we don't see you again. So anyway, so he got him out while he was still in the circle mode. So anyway, but then after that, the Locos, this group that I'm a member of, I love these guys, they did a relay. They did a four, a six-person relay where they swam all the way to the Farallons and back. That was the first time that's ever been done. It took them like 36 hours, 36 hours on a rough, 
crazy boat. I've done that. To, I've done relays on land running and they're really hard when you're just sitting around waiting for your turn to run. It's really hard. Well, these guys are out on a boat for a day and a half waiting for their turn to swim and, and swim to the Farallons and then come back, you know. So what a huge, a huge accomplishment. They made it. First ones ever to do that. So then, just why I'm doing this video, just yesterday, one of my favorite people of all time, Kim Chambers, who already has swam the Ocean 7 swims, which are the, arguably the most difficult swims in the world. You know, I don't even was arguably. They're the most difficult swims in the world. And she went out to become the first woman to swim in. So she jumped by that island, you know, and sharks, you know, in the dark. She's out there like around 11, 20 at night or something like that. And she jumps in to start her swim. She said it was a little spooky. I just, I've only watched news accounts. I haven't, you know, had any personal contact with anybody yet. But she's a little spooky. And anyway, and she got in there and swam. And she swam and she swam and she swam and she swam. And she came down and went through the Golden Gate. Of those, of the four swimmers that have swam, only two have made it to the Golden Gate, which is what they all kind of try to do, because that's a huge thing to make it through there. you got to really battle a lot of current and stuff out there, which shifts on you. And so that's what she was able to do and become the first woman swimmer to make that swim. You don't think this pumps me up, man? I'm so ready to jump in that English channel. It's unbelievable. And I ain't quitting, man. I got South End pride. I'll, when I'm out in that English channel, I'm going to be thinking of Simon and Kim and the Locos and all my other friends and Tom and John and all these guys who are these badass swimmers. And I'll be thinking of all of them when I'm out there and thinking like, man, they would just keep going. There's no quitting them. There's no quitting the South End. So if you want to do something great, surround yourself with great. If you can find a great club, join a great club where great becomes normal. And if you're interested in following me on Facebook, I'm, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have a question or a comment, please put it in the YouTube comment section. Or if you are interested in having me talk to your team, your group, your company, your organization. You can email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com. Thank you very much.